category that she called out that are doing most of the disruption. She is factually correct. They are all white guys who come in and do that, so I can't disagree with her. So there you hear it, the two white men serving on Portland City Council weighing in on a fellow commissioner's bold statement. Newcomer Joanne Hardesty said this week that white male privilege is emboldening frequent protests at City Hall. KGW's Maggie Vespa joining us now. Maggie, the mayor and Commissioner Fish, they didn't disagree. We heard them there, but they say it's a bigger issue than that. Yeah, Dan, exactly. And they've said as much before that basically loud and profanity fueled protests are more and more an issue at City Hall. In fact, it happened twice today. You just saw one of those clips. There it is again. But now the newcomer, Commissioner Joanne Hardesty, is seeing this as the first black woman to ever serve on Portland City Council. And at four, you heard her say the majority of protesters that she sees disrupting meetings are white men fueled by their own, in her words, white male privilege. She says the city needs to figure out a way to keep them from hijacking meetings, a problem that she believes is intimidating minorities and others from coming and speaking to council. That said, Portland has tried to address this before by barring disrupted people, some for months at a time. In 2015, an activist sued and a federal judge ruled the city's tactic was unconstitutional. Today, Mayor Ted Wheeler had this to say. I think we need to start going back to the court system and asking if there is a way that we can preemptively remove people if we know they are coming here for the purpose of shutting down the democratic process. We have an obligation to protect the democratic process. As mayor, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so the mayor didn't get any more specific on that regarding possible future action. City Commissioner Nick Fish says he does expect the city will take a look at council chamber rules and possibly, he says, make changes soon, though he couldn't give a timeline. And by the way, when speaking to us, neither Fish nor Mayor Wheeler used the phrase white male privilege. Well, as we have seen time and time again, a number of people protesting and disrupting city council meetings, including women and people of color. But Joanne Hardesty has only been on the job here for three weeks, and she says in that time, it's only been white men she's seen disrupting the city council meetings. She told us today if she saw people of color doing it, she'd call them out too. The reality is that there are white men who think it's their job to come into Portland City Council and disrupt the proceedings. Joanne Hardesty is Portland's newest city commissioner and the first African-American woman to sit on the council. She's only been on the job for three weeks, but in that time, she says she's seen a common thread. Today, we're, we're late because we had a white guy that came in and decided he would start yelling and he had to be escorted out. The same thing happened last week. The same thing happened a week before that. I think it's driven by privilege, just that here I am, and by golly, this is what's on my mind, and regardless of what's on the agenda, uh, you have to listen to me, and everybody else has to listen to me. But in the past, Fox 12 has witnessed several council meetings that have been disrupted by other people, representing a mix of races, genders, and backgrounds. Hardesty says it's not what she's seen so far, but going forward, she'll call out anyone who disrupts the democratic process of city governance, regardless of race. But I just call it as I see it, right? If they were black men, I would have said these black men need to stop doing this and black men should call them out on that behavior. Today, Mayor Ted Wheeler and fellow Commissioner Nick Fish also weighed in, supporting Hardesty for speaking out publicly and sharing her broader concerns over repeated protests in council chambers. But on the issue of specifically calling out white men. She is factually correct. They are all white guys who come in and do that. So I can't disagree with her. So she spoke her truth and I, I accept that. I mean, we should we should we should accept that that and celebrate that. Um, might I have given the statement slightly differently? Maybe. 
but, but there are some uh, uh, people who fit the category that she called out that are doing most of the disruptions. Now, the mayor and commissioners Hardesty and Fish do all agree on this. Disru disruptions of any kind will not be tolerated no matter who is behind them. In fact, the mayor expressed frustration again today that the courts have said it is unconstitutional to block these repeat protesters from city council proceedings. He says the only tool they have right now is to kick them out once protests begin. Live at City Hall tonight, Kelsey Watts, Fox 12 Oregon.